All right, so now it's time to fill out our uh, table here. And then <clears throat> that's going to make life a lot easier for us. So we're going to have our 30 degrees in this column, 45, and then 60. Um, so sine and cosine should be fairly simple because you just have to look here. So if you just remember sine is the uh, y value of the unit circle because sine is just y over r. And for our unit circle, r is just 1. OK, so um, here we go. So that should be 1 half, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. And I mean, an easy way to remember this is 1, 2, 3. You know, um, I know those have square roots, but still pretty simple right there. OK, and then cosine. It's going to go in the opposite order. So square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and then 1 half. Okay, so anyways, that might be a little trick to help you. All right, so now tangent, if you remember, um, it's going to be y over x. So you're going to have to divide this by that right there. So we'll go ahead and see tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. We'll do our keep change flip. So 1 half times 2 square roots of 3. Okay. Um, so hopefully you notice right here the, the 2's will cancel. So we're left with 1 over the square root of 3, but then now we need to rationalize it. So square root of 3 over the square root of 3. So we end up with square root of 3 over just plain 3. So that's what we're going to have right here. So square root of 3 over 3. OK, tangent of 45, x, uh, y divided by x, pretty simple. It's just going to be a 1. OK, and then for 60, it's going to be the um, Basically, it's going to be these flip-flopped right here. And um, so I'll go ahead and write that down. So let's see tangent of 60. So if we flip-flop it, and this one simplifies. Um, oops, I didn't flip-flop them. Let me go back real quick. Sorry. All right, so here we go. Square root of. 3 over 2 and then over 1 half. And so keep change flip. And so that should cancel out there. And really, we just end up with the square root of 3 right here. So square root of 3. So look, um, the cotangent is just now x over y. And I won't go into all the details on this. Uh, you look into it yourself if you uh, don't trust me here. But basically, this will have a square root of 3 right here because um, x over y is the same thing as y over x for the 60 degrees. Okay, And so that was um, a property that we did cover in class. Um, so cotangent, the reciprocal of 1, that's simple. That's just going to be 1. And then right here, the reciprocal of 1 third, but once you rationalize it, so you can see we had one, I'm sorry, one over the square root of three right here. Once you rationalize it, you end up with the square root of three over three. So these are our co-function relationships. Sine and cosine have those relationships between angles that are um, complementary, right? They equal each other. Same thing with tangent and cotangent. Um, if they're complementary, then they're equal to each other. So tangent of 30 is the same as cotangent of 60 and so on. OK, so now if we can get secant, then once again, we can use that cofunction uh, property to go ahead and figure that out. So this is just going to be the reciprocal of uh, cosine right here. So just a little reminder, what we're doing here is this is um, r over x. So you're going to take the reciprocal of uh, that right there. And I'll go ahead and write it down down here. So let's see a little bit further. 
So the secant of 30 degrees is going to be 2 over the square roots of 3. So now we'll go ahead and rationalize it. So we end up with 2 square roots of 3 over 3. And that's what we're going to have right here. So 2 square roots of 3 over 3. Okay. And then now we're going to take the reciprocal of the square root of 2 over 2 to get the secant of 45. So let's see, secant of 45 is going to be square root of 2 over 2. Um, oops, once again, I'm sorry. My apologies. Let's see, I think i got to reciprocate it. So let's see, 2 over the square root of 2. There we go. And so we multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So we're going to end up with 2 square roots of 2 all over 2. And the 2's cancel, so we just have square root of 2. So that's what we're going to have right here. Okay, and then um, the reciprocal of 1 half, that's easy. That's just 2 right there. Okay, now going back to the co-function property, and like I said, if you don't trust me, you can look it up. But um, right here, this is going to be 2. It's going to be square root of 2. And then here you're going to have 2 square root of 3 all over 3. Okay? So, you know, um, look back at the notes and um, practice using this. Because if you can create it, but you don't know how to use it, then that's not going to help you. So make sure that, um, like, you know, if you're asked for, you know, tangent of 330, well, you can see that its reference angle is 30, and so tangent of 30 was square root of 3 over 3, okay? But then you need to realize that it's going to be negative, though, because you're in the fourth quadrant, and the ratio of, um, of y divided by x, positive, uh, negative divided by positive, is going to give you a negative. So tangent of 330 is equal to negative square root of 3 over 3. So anyways, that... Um, that should help you out um, for the exam. All right.